Right now at 4.30, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene apologizing for comparing the vaccination push and mask requirements to the Holocaust. People in Metro Atlanta's Jewish community are now speaking out about her apology. CBS 46's Sabrina Silva has the story. Outrageous and reprehensible. Many people and even government leaders were quick to react to Marjorie Taylor Greene's latest controversial comment comparing Capitol Hill mask wearing rules to the Holocaust. Weeks later, the Georgia Congresswoman is apologizing for those comments after a visit to the Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington, D.C. The Holocaust is, there's nothing comparable to it. And there are words that I have said and remarks that I've made that I know are offensive. And for that, I want to apologize. I just totally don't believe her. Now. The fact that Green has had multiple interviews using the Holocaust as comparison to COVID-19 restrictions has led many to feel skeptical about the apology. Frankly, I think she should be removed. I mean, because I don't think she represents the, the best or the possibilities of what the United States is. And these tactics have helped the Congresswoman win support on the far right and has helped her campaign raise more than $3 million just in her first three months in office. In Yiddish, they'd say it's a Shanda, what she's doing. It's, a sh it's much more than a shame, but that's kind of... I'm Sabrina Silva, CBS 46 News.